Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon everyone. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so that video that you just saw, that took a little bit of work and it took a lot of different cameras. So what I used was the Sony a7R3, the Sony a7 III, the Mavic 2 Pro, and the GoPro Hero 7 to create all that content. Now, do you need all those cameras? Not necessarily, but sometimes to get certain angles and certain corners, some cameras are required. For an example, the hyperlapse, which you'll see what you're looking at the screen right now, the hyperlapse that I did, I used the time warp option in the GoPro Hero 7. The drone shots, I used the Mavic 2 Pro to get certain drone angles. And all the rest of the video was done on the A7 III and there was some photography involved, which was with the A7 R3. Okay, so you don't always need all these cameras, but they definitely do help. So for an example, if you have a phone, an iPhone or a Samsung, and that's all you're using to create content with, then that actually works, it does the job. Today, these phones shoot in 4K, so if you need, if you, if you wanna add a stabilizer to it, now that adds, that's just adding more creativity, adding more balance, and adding a stabilizer actually is more pleasing to the eye, so when your viewers are watching them, it, 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 it's more entertaining to look at. It, it makes people nauseous when the video is constantly shaking and shaking and shaking, like if you wanna shake the video right now, go like this. <laughs> just like that you see so it's not cool to watch but uh using the stabilizer and today just about everything comes from stabilizer i mean the, the gopro hero 7 that thing's amazing actually you could do, you can create content with only that if you wanted to and it, it'll be perfectly fine but adding the drone element aerial aerial photography really makes a difference and it really really makes the video a lot cooler so if you if you're able to add a drone beautiful because it'll give you a perspective that not too many people can capture it tells a different story or it tells the story from a different angle uh, which is also very entertaining uh, many people love to see shots from the sky so it's pretty cool so i use the drone a couple times i don't try to overkill the drone when telling the story um, that unless you're making a video about drones then it's completely different but if you're telling a story you want to show for an example uh, if, if it's about a location about an area you want to do a little aerial pan a little aerial shot just to establish location so you know okay this shot is being taken at a particular mountain or a particular school or a particular city so but you want to make sure you're doing it legal so there's a lot of legal things that are involved with flying drones depending on where you live there's permits there's licenses and everything else um, so drones, very cool to have, if you can use them. All right, now, so using a camera, now, which camera do you use? Do you use a Sony, a Canon, a Nikon, an iPhone, or a Samsung? Really does not matter at all. As long as it has a sensor that can capture images and play them back in, vid in a video format, it's perfectly fine. Now, quality, that's, that's another story, but if you're just starting out and you wanna know how or what to use to create content, I get asked every single day, what camera should I buy to make videos? What camera should I buy for photography? They're all tools at the end of the day. What you should do is you should go to the camera store, grab the camera, see how they feel in your hands, and then take it from there. Now, me personally, my choice is Sony. I like the Sony a7R 3 and the a7 III and the, the Alpha series cameras in general. The, the A9, uh, the eye autofocus really helps out. Uh, the touch screen and uh, shooting in 4K and all the other features, I really like it. I'm also a Sony ambassador, so that, 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 that I, I joined on because I love the product. So I'm actually a Sony Alpha Collective member. But anyhow, so the cameras at the end of the day are just a tool storytelling and creating the content is where the creativity comes in and that part is most important so now i'm at skydive dubai and we're creating content here today and part of the content that we're creating is we're getting into a gyro chopper or gyro copter uh chopper yeah i believe it's a gyro chopper yeah so it, it's pretty cool it's gonna it's not gonna have a uh, overhead seal should be out by the time you're watching this video actually try not to go to an area and just randomly shoot it's gonna make your job so difficult so hard try to sit down and plan it out so for example i knew i was coming to create content here at skydive Dubai. so before doing that what i did is i planned my shots i knew i wanted some low shots me getting out of the car getting my camera equipment preparing 
for this adventure that I'm about to go on right now. So doing, I got all my shots, got all my angles figured out first, got all my shots. So I did a shot list, checked off, done deal. Now, next part of the story is going to be the adventure of going into the chopper, boarding the chopper, shooting from the air, capturing the city. This is all part of storytelling and putting it together at the end of the day. So key, another key element, music. Now, choosing music is very difficult, very complicated. Why? Because if you can have the, the coolest footage, if the music is bad, it's not going to be cool. It's not going to be cool at all. It's not going to make any sense. So try to choose the right song to match the tempo and the type of content that you're creating. It will come out that much better. Another thing, transitions and editing. Now look, transitions, they can be very complicated. So you don't have to worry too much about transitions at first. If you're just starting off, you could learn how to do them step by step. First, learn how to assemble a timeline. I'll do a whole nother See, I'll, I'll do a whole nother tutorial on how, to, how I personally edit, but for you guys that are just starting off, take the footage, put it in a timeline, cut it up to where the story makes sense, and then take it from there. All right, so I'm gonna go jump on my gyro chopper right now, so thanks for tagging along. If you have any questions about this video, please send me a message. If you like this video, please give me a like and hit subscribe. It really makes a difference for me. I appreciate your time. And if you want to find out more about my day-to-day -day life and what I do, follow me on Instagram, TG from Dubai. And um, yeah, thanks for tagging along. All right, salam alaikum.